Facebook. It's me, your girl, Pastor Mimi, on the check-in. And I'm just happy to be here, and I hope you are, too. The sunroof is open. Y'all probably can't see me that well. Not that you need to, but, you know, try to preserve my complexion just in the capacity that it is. Okay, so let's turn this off because somebody just... What are you looking like that for, baby chick? I was listening to that. The guy is lying on the song. Ain't no dude doing all that for no chick. So what? I like the beat. Okay. Well, at any rate, I am here. And I just want to tell you that whatever it is that you're going through, there is a scripture reference for it. When I teach Bible study or it's real life study as we've called it over the years, I show people how to find their point of contact in the Bible because if it is something that you really need and that you can apply to your life immediately right now, then it is more likely that you will retain it. Case in point, if you are suffering depression, if you are um, trying to figure out, you know, if you should get married, if you want to know the qualities of a person that should be evident prior to marriage, all of these things are in the Bible. So, because I don't have a Bible readily available, and I'm sure I do, but um, my car is junky. So, what I'm going to do is teach you a very practical, new age method to finding your point of content, or your contact in the Bible. Google it. Yes, you can Google a scripture. So, simply, what does the Bible say about depression? Search, and you'll see all the scriptures come up. And you might find some good commentary, too. What does the Bible say about being broke? Gossip. What does the Bible say about... What? Bullying. Oh, bullying. Baby chick said, what does the Bible say about bullying? What does the Bible say about um, the characteristics that should be within us? Godly character. Just Google it and you will find that if you use this method, what will happen is, is that you will retain it a lot quicker than seeking things that, you know, just you can't really apply to your life at the moment. You want to apply the scripture to your life at the moment, where you stand, in the condition that you are. And I want to tell you this, that no matter what you've done, what you think about doing, what you did last night, there's a scripture for it. It's in the Bible. Nothing you can do can shock God. We thank God that he is all-knowing and all-seeing so that we are able to deal with whatever is bothering us. It doesn't matter what it is because God knows what we're going through. And he can meet us right where we are. Sure can. You know what I do? When I'm going through something and it's really something, homegirl hits her knees. I actually get on my knees and pray like I was taught when I was little. And it's something about that humility that just opens up the connection and it's a good result and I want you to have good results for your life so go ahead don't be afraid google your point of contact peace